morning, holy brothers and sisters! It is the 14th of Sivan and in the kitchen of the Kuti Maharan, today's lesson will be called Foundational Faith. Teaching number 172, Shulemus Eches Ronos, completing what one lacks. Everything that a person lacks, be it children or livelihood or health, is all due to a deficiency in the person himself. For God's light and his bounty are shining upon a person at all times. But a person, because of his involvement in physicality and evil deeds, creates a shadow for himself so that God's light does not reach him. And this, in turn, is responsible for all that he lacks. Therefore, if a person merits to rectify his deeds and his character traits and to purify his physical nature to the point that he nullifies himself completely and enters the concept of nothing, having no connection to this world at all, he ceases to create a shadow. He then merits to receive God's light in all of its fullness and he attains all that he lacks. God's light shines everywhere except where we stand in the way and cast our own shadows. Get out of the way and allow all of God's light to fill our lives with endless blessings. The Torah sages who are associated with this concept of nothingness merit honor, which is the primary manifestation of God's light. When we empty ourselves, we can be filled with godliness and all of Hashem's light and honor. When God and similarly the tzaddik, the righteous, show a joyous countenance, this means life and good for the world. The opposite is also true, God forbid. Teaching number 173, the soul and faith are one and the same concept. Now, there exists the world of faith, which is the place from which the attribute of faith is taken, and the world of faith is also itself a faith in God. This latter faith is the root of all faith, it is the inner essence of faith, and it also is the inner essence of the soul. Now, when a person writes, he puts his soul into his writing, as in, I put my soul into the writing. Shabbos 105a. Thereby, by looking at a person's writing, the true tzaddik, the righteous, can know about the person's soul, his soul's inner essence, his faith, and the root of his faith. The words that a person speaks with the true tzaddik, however, are at a higher level than even his writing. This is because writing is only an activity of the soul, whereas speech is the soul itself. Therefore, from a person's speech, the tzaddik can truly actually see the essence of the soul itself. We can tell a lot about an individual from his writing, but by hearing words that emanate from a person's body, one is able to recognize his soul, so we should try to use various methods to connect with those we have in our lives. Teaching number 174. When strict judgments beset a person, God forbid, those who pray for him should not mention his name explicitly so that the judgment should not rise up against him even more, God forbid. See Brachos 34a and Magin Avram on Orach Chaim 119.1. We have traditions about when people who are sick or need salvation is about how to precisely pray for them, for example, by using their mother's name. Recognize that all of our speech has tremendous power, and if we must be careful about praying positively for someone, how much more so must we never use our speech for any evil? As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow, and please God, we'll learn again tomorrow.